Hello, I'm Simon Fuller and I work for the Residential Property Department at Mayor Wynne Baxter. Uh, and today I wanted to talk to you about why it is you should instruct a solicitor before finding a buyer for your home. So uh, the majority of us when we move, we need to sell one home to buy the next. And the process generally starts with getting your home valued by one or more estate agents. When you've chosen your agent, you get an offer um, and the whole process starts. It's a process in England and Wales which is often criticised for being unnecessarily slow. Uh, but because our solicitors are both legal professionals and providers of a customer-focused service, they understand that communication is key to alleviating these frustrations. But it's also possible for the home seller to use the time between entering the market and accepting an offer to instruct a solicitor and therefore be instrumental in cutting overall transaction time by weeks sometimes. Um, so there are two, or if you're a leaseholder, three essential forms provided by the Law Society that must be completed in order to be sent to your buyer solicitor. These forms are the property information form, the leasehold information form, and the fittings and contents form, legally known as TA6, TA7, and TA10. Uh, they are lengthy and they often require the seller to provide information and evidence of certain things, things that uh, a buyer's solicitor is likely to ask for down the line if they're not provided with the initial contract package. Uh, so some of the information you'll not be able to provide, perhaps until you've found your next home, because uh, you might not know, you know what you need to take, what's in the new home, um, that sort of thing. But the majority of the information you'll be required to provide, you should be able to obtain in advance. Uh, so common items of information that take sellers time to find or obtain um, are often things like planning permission, building regulation certificates, guarantees, receipts, electrical and gas certificates, insurance policies, etc. Um, leasehold sellers often struggle with things like providing evidence of consent for alterations that may have been made um, or finding out who actually deals with what, which parts of the management, um, insurance, maintenance, that sort of thing. So if these things are collated prior to finding a buyer, we we'll often see a number of weeks come off the time taken for the conveyancing process to be completed. Um, as a firm, Mayo and Baxter can help get these few steps ahead by taking your formal instructions to act for you in the sale at the point you market your home. So on receiving your instructions, we're obliged to run anti-money laundering checks, which are done on receipt of your ID documents. We can then send out your initial letters with the aforementioned forms for you to complete. And this way you've got no pressure um, to having to fill all that stuff out um, at the point where you find a buyer. People are often concerned that if they do this, they'll incur fees, um, but we are able to get you this far into the process at no cost with a view that once a buyer's found, we'll be in a position to send a full contract package out weeks earlier generally than we've had to wait for all of the information to be supplied by the seller. Um, this means you'll move quicker just by engaging us to act for you at the point you put your home up for sale rather than waiting until you've got a buyer. So if you are thinking of selling your property uh, and you'd like us to put you that one step ahead, give me a call. Again, I'm Simon Fuller. My phone number 01273 223286.